Hello, my name is Roderick Glover. I am a speaker listed on the NCAA Speakers Registry. Yes, I'm motivated and ready to come speak to your college athletes with the Art of Self Loving. Seminar as well as Interactive Drama and teach the college athletes how to get to that next level, how to be a great person as well as athlete and teammate by overcoming strongholds, negative strongholds from the past and changing negative behaviors into positive life lessons. So let's see what people are saying about this workshop. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, he put more into two hours than I've gotten out of sessions that were two weeks. Uh, his honesty, his integrity um, shown through. Information is power and that, that really came across for me to project to our children, to other adults. A lot of things that I never knew and I'm 50 years old and I would highly recommend this session. Any parent, any... Uh, loving ourselves about just taking our lives to the next level. It's not just a lesson that we need as adults but something that we absolutely need to spread the word to our children. We forget these things sometimes with our children and take them for granted. But this is information they need. Because it's going to transform your life, it's going to educate you, and uh, you're going to see things in a different way. But it's been a life-changing event. It's been inside of me to see what I need to fix in order to save the youth. Jeremy Perry, quarterback, Tennessee State University. I really think that it helped me to really put a hand on those things that helped me to be a leader, uh, not only in our community, but, you know, with our family as well. You know, I really learned a lot. And, you know, by writing down some tangible things and some tangible goals, uh, I think that I kind of even know more about myself and what I want in a relationship and what I don't want in a relationship. I'm Davis. Uh, I played football here at Tennessee State University. And when I got out of the art of loving with um, Mr. Uh, Glover, uh, it told me a lot about loving myself before I'm able to anybody else. It told me it's more than life, it's more than life than just having sex, going out partying, drinking and all that stuff like that. And it, it really helped me for, uh, finding myself and, and trying to make a change for myself and for the best. And partaking in this program and learning about loving yourself is uh, it's a great feeling. And I plan on passing this on to many generations of men, uh, as well as my, my own brother, which is 13. I mean, I have to teach him myself and that I'll pass this down from generation to generation. See what we're dealing in life is with the negative and the positive. The negative comes to kill, steal, and destroy your dreams. To rip your self-esteem down so low you start to believe I can't do this no more, man. When you deal with addictions, addictions come in and they take over your life. The negative is very addictive. Sex is very addictive. I always say is do it. Men always, always told us, you want to be a man, man, you better have sex. <coughs> That's what they told us. They gave us a lot, man. <laughs> it's your hand, man. Jay, what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what they done told you? <laughs> I need three people to change this world because he's seen all this stuff happen in his life. And he said, I want to make a change. Well, the flesh, the flesh always want to go with the flow. So when the flesh sees something, man, there's somebody, man, there's a fire babe over there. You want her? You, oh, man. <laughs> she got a mini skirt on. Okay, so the flesh goes with it. And what happens? He goes with the flesh. The spirit just goes with the flow. Okay? Now, did you all see that? Okay. Now, come back. When your spirit is weak, the flesh is going to dog you. The flesh is going to command that you do stuff. So you ain't really moving what you really want to do. You're going on with the flesh one. You're going on with the lies people gave you, the lies people told you. you trying to search it and find it, man. They said it was love, but you can find it, but you're looking for it. That's what, a, hey man, I found out a lot of people just looking to be loved. That's all. In all the wrong places. So when the spirit gets strong enough, the spirit got to pray. The spirit got to meditate. The spirit got to say positive stuff to itself to get strong. You got to work on your spirit. Some of us real buff and strong, but our spirit is so weak, man, people are dominating us. 
And when you get on the football field, they break your spirit right on the field. Because your spirit ain't strong. So that's why you quit before the fourth quarter get there. You quit in the third quarter. You quit because he boned you in your head, knocked you in your ground, and you saw stars, and you scared of him. But when you work on your spirit, no fear, baby. You knock me down, I'm going to get back up. So the spirit got to be worked, man. You got to work it. So the spirit got to work. The only reason why he got a chance to go over there and took him with him it's because the spirit didn't say nothing. It just went with it. It wasn't strong enough. It's got a double bong out. <laughs> well, anyway. Well, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she want to go. Uh-uh. Your flesh is up here. You just can't stay back. You better get aggressive. You see what I'm saying? So you do what? You pull him back, and he pull back. But if you notice, the first time his flesh went over there, he just watched it go. Give them a hand, y'all. Did y'all keep that scenario? Give them a hand. Thanks. Working on the interview so you can get to the next. tired of being tired to break the generational curse that's in our lives, in our families. So I heard a guy, he came to talk just like we talking. And I came in the room. And when I heard him speak, man, he was talking about me. The reason why I did that best, man, and I sat in my house one day, man, and I looked and I said, I don't love myself. I don't love myself. Yeah, I can make them laugh, man. I can get out there and work out, flex muscles. I can do all this stuff, man. People like me, but I don't like myself. And man, when you come to the conclusion that you don't love yourself, man, it hurts. And I looked in the mirror and I said, I love myself. And if I love myself, I do what's best for myself. If I want the positive, and my life changed right there. And once I made that commitment, man, I learned to respect me, I learned to respect my space, and I learned to respect my girlfriend. But what I'm telling you, it's not too late. After this, we're going to actually write down what you're dealing with in your life. And you're going to let it go. Right here in this room. Whatever, whatever generational curse, whatever you're going through, somebody want to give up alcohol, drugs, some people want to recommit themselves and say, hey man, I want to save my body. Uh, how does it look to you? Is it respect? What do you want out of relationship? What do you expect to, for people to know they love you? Just write it down. I must do better than yesterday. For yesterday is gone, and today is all I have. Always remember that you are the greatest. Because no one can be as great as being you than you. So embrace your greatness. Help someone along the way. My name is Roderick Glover, the motivator, motivator and the love architect. And whatever you do, be great. See you at the top.